so today we will study about frequency definition and axiomatic definition of probability now before moving on to the frequency uh, definition we will study what statistical regularity is all about and then we will move on to frequency definition and the axiomatic definition of probability now what is statistical regularity now let's have a look now let's consider a random experiment and let a be the event m be the number of favorable cases n be the identical trials so consider m by n that is the number of favorable cases divided by the total number of cases that ratio consider that ratio and uh, let that ratio be the frequency ratio or the relative frequency of the event a now the increase of the number in trials that is when you increase this denominator that is n m by n that is this ratio which we call it as the frequency ratio will approximate to the true value of the probability or of the chance of occurring of the event a so what does that means as n increases or as the total number of identical trials increases the approximation will improve or increase now what is the approximation or uh, the result that we get probability of uh, the occurrence of event a improves or increase now this tendency of the frequency ratio that is the tendency of the frequency ratio what is the frequency ratio over here m by n that is the total number of favorable cases divided by the total number of identical cases approach to a definite value as n increases is called as the statistical regular regularity now let's move on to the frequency definition of probability so in a frequency definition of probability probability we will be using the concept of statistical regularity so if the trials we repeated a large number of times under essential and homogeneous conditions then the limit of the ratio of number of times that an even happens to the total number of outcomes as the number of trials increase indefinitely is called the probability of happening of that particular event now let's see thus okay i will detailedly explain this whole definition if an event a has occurred m times in a series of n independent trials and if it is uh, done in homogeneous conditions then we'll say that the limit as n tends to infinity as the number of trials increases or it tends to infinity the frequency ratio m by n so the limit n tends to infinity of the frequency ratio m by n is equal to the probability of the happening of the event a i hope you understood what a frequency definition of probability is all about now let's move on to the axiomatic definition of probability now here also we are considering a random experiment with the sample space s let a be the event defined on s let a be any real number let probability of a be any real number which is associated with the event a then probability of a is called the probability of event a if it satisfies the following axioms now let's have a look at the axioms there are three axioms that should be studied oh, the first axiom is that the probability of a or the happening of the event a should be greater than or equal to zero that it sh that is it should be a non negative value then the axiom second axiom is the axiom of certainty that is probability of s is equal to 1 and the third axiom is that the axiom of additivity that is for any disjoint events e1 and e2 which is defined on s we say that the union or the chance of the union of e1 and e2 that is probability of e1 union e2 is equal to probability of e1 plus probability of e2 now this statement can be extended for any number of disjoint sets so the three axioms that should be satisfied are the axiom of non negativity axiom of certainty and axiom of additivity i hope you understood the two um definitions of probability thank you